Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Now we are discussing about immunology video series. In this video, we are discussing about antigen antibody interaction, mainly concentrating in precipitation reaction. So we can move to the slide. A soluble antigen combines with its specific antibody in the presence of electrolytes. At a suitable temperature and pH, the antigen antibody complex forms an insoluble precipitate known as precipitation. The precipitates formed by antibodies are known as precipitins. The precipitates remain suspended as flocules. The reaction is called flocculation. Precipitation reaction may occur in liquid medium or in semi-solid medium like agar gel, agarose or polyacrylamide. Precipitation reaction in fluids. Precipitation reaction performed by placing a constant amount of antibody in a series of tubes and adding increasing amount of antigen to the tubes. After the precipitate forms, each tube centrifuge to get pellet and the supernatant is poured off. The amount of precipitate is measured. Plotting the amount of precipitate against increasing antigen concentration yields a precipitin curve. Precipitation reaction in gels When antigen and antibody diffuse towards one another in agar, a visible line of precipitation will form. Visible precipitation occurs in the region of equivalence, whereas no visible precipitate forms in region of antibody or antigen excess. Applications of precipitation reaction It is mainly used for identification of bacteria and bacterial components in infected tissues. Detection of unknown antibody Testing for food adulteration Forensic application in identification of human blood and seminal stains. Standardization of toxins and antitoxins. Next we are discussing about types of precipitation reaction. First one is immunodiffusion. Two types of immunodiffusion are present. They are radial immunodiffusion and double immunodiffusion. First we are discussing radial immunodiffusion. It is also known as Mancini procedure. Antigen is placed in the well and allowed to diffuse into agar containing suitable dilution of an antibody. As the antigen diffuses into the agar, a precipitin ring forms around the well. The area of the precipitin ring is proportional to the concentration of the antigen. If increase the antigen concentration, wider the precipitation ring. Agar containing antibody molecules are dissolved in the gel. And this is the well containing antigen of different concentration after incubation the precipitation line will form. Next we are discussing about double immunodiffusion. It is also known as Auchaloni procedure. Both antigen and antibody diffuse radially from with towards each other. As equivalence is reached, a visible line of precipitation forms. 
this is the agarose plated gel slide in this well we are pouring antigen this is the second well here we are pouring antibody after incubation the precipitation line will form next we are discussing about immunoelectrophoresis immunoelectrophoresis combines electrophoresis with immunodiffusion antigen mixture is first separated into its component parts by electrophoresis and then tested by double immunodiffusion agarose gel prepared and poured into glass slide given time for cooling the solution after that cut one well in one side and a trough in other side then add antigen into the well and it is separated based on charge and size after antigen separation takes the glass line added antibody in the trough region then give time for the diffusion after that the precipitation line will be formed I hope you understand the video please click like button share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you